to Germany right now, hair done, sister here. And yeah, starting the journey, everything's done. I checked in some luggage and we are ready to go. How do you feel about me leaving? Sad. <laughs> Guess who is back now in Germany? I am. Yeah, rhetorical question. I am back in Germany. Happy to be back, but also very, very sad. I had the best time in New York and huh, it's just crazy how you can be across the world one second and then somewhere else the next second. It's just it's just really crazy. Anyways, I'm back in Germany. Um just FYI, I needed a negative COVID test to actually leave America, like the agents were asking for tests. So definitely if you're thinking about doing the same thing to visit family, you need to get tested. You need to stay safe because they will ask for it at the airport. Um, so yeah, now I'm back. I still have to quarantine in Germany for 10 days, so that's what I'm going to be doing. But Sven is here, so it's not going to be... Uh, boring quarantine you can say um he now has to quarantine with me for 10 days and guys i'm so sorry i did not vlog um when i got out of the airport but i actually had three checked luggages and a carry-on and a backpack anyways i'm sorry i could not vlog when i left because i had too much stuff no hands free but sven was so cute he was waiting outside with some flowers and a balloon and food that makes me happy and then he decorated the whole apartment with like balloons and rose petals and candles and stuff like that it was so cute and just so romantic very very sweet and so if you see in the background there is this balloon which just says love it's from when he like stuck up some balloons and like was decorating the whole apartment so that's why that's there because I know people are gonna be like is that a new deco item no it's just a balloon before we continue with the vlog I do want to give a mention to the brand called Nordgreen this video is kindly sponsored by them and I just want to talk a little bit about the brand and about their sustainability and also again how you can change the straps on the watch so first of all just saying Val Valentine's Day is coming up soon. Also, our anniversary is coming up soon. This is such a great gift to give someone for Valentine's Day or for their anniversary or whatever. It's just an all around good gift to give. So talking about sustainability with this brand, Nordgreen chooses sustainable and environmentally friendly materials that last. They always try to leave the least trace on the planet and they try to contribute to resolving global environmental issues by using materials that make the least possible impact on the environment. The watch straps range from authentic leather, vegan leather, nylon to mesh, and I believe this brown leather strap, which I have right now, is a vegan leather. All the straps are produced with environmentally friendly methods to reduce chemical pollutions. Also, the vegan leather straps are made from blended cotton and polyester to ensure its texture and quality while making sure that it's durable, and I do definitely feel that with this this brown vegan leather strap. All the packaging is FSC certified cardboard and upcycled felt. The eco-friendly cardboard material comes from responsibly managed forests while the felt inside the box is made up of upcycled plastic bottles for the environment. So literally everything about this product is sustainable. Definitely do check out Nordgreen when you have a chance. If you're looking for a gift for anybody, definitely check them out. I'll be leaving their website linked below and also a discount code right here if you wanted to buy something for a loved one or for yourself, definitely use my code. We can continue with the scheduled vlog. Anyways, so I'm going to make the bed. Just open up the windows a bit, let some light in and you know, just get back in the flow of things. It feels so weird to be back. Oh, and while I'm here, I'm like all over the place. Just gonna give you guys an update on my eyebrows. My eyebrows, I love this color now. Like I do not want it to fade anymore. I want it to just stay like this, but I feel like it's going to fade. I'm looking at myself just so I can see what I'm talking about, but um, they are starting to peel. What day is it? It is now um, it is now day eight, and this side is peeling so hard, um, the right side. But this is supposed to happen. So as you can see, it's it's kind of disgusting. I don't want to get too close, but I think this lady did such a great job. Like now, I don't know if I can go back to 
not having brows if that sounds crazy or not but i absolutely love this on my face i love it but let's see what the color looks like after um it's peeled away and um faded even more i'm sure but i'm loving them love it love it love it wake up with brows it's perfect um and i don't have any soreness i don't have anything it is a bit like tight when i move my brows but otherwise it's fine the only thing that's happening is the peeling and no makeup on no nothing obviously but it kind of gives you the look like you're waking up with makeup if that makes any sense okay now i am just going to spread the bed and start the day What a thing that I got for Christmas from my mom, which I need to recommend to you guys. If you guys have not already seen this in the news or in articles, whatever, let me put you on. I got a weighted blanket and yes, I brought a 12 pound weighted blanket back from New York. I have no words, but I needed to. It's supposed to help you sleep better, keep you from turning around, like, you know, always flipping around in bed. I mean, it's 12 pounds on your body. It feels like you're cuddling someone basically but i had to get i had to bring this back with me it, it also promotes you know just better sleep in general and there's a whole bunch of health benefits and stuff with a weighted blanket and i think this is like the lowest weight 12 pounds i cannot imagine anything heavier on top of me but you will have the best sleep with this blanket like just google it you guys i don't have all the facts on me but weighted blanket it's the way to go and this is mine it is so heavy but makes all the difference this is the best addition right now to my sleeping schedule morning welcome back today is now wednesday i never know what day it is is it okay if you're on the vlog nowadays but come say hi the guys haven't seen you in a month well, you are now yeah look who it is oh you're not recording are you i am recording don't you see the light i'm eating oh that's the point of a vlog the Raffaello tastes really good. Mm. Still? I don't know, they're in there since ages, but they're still... I don't think they like rot or anything like that. So. That must not be a good sign. <laughs> Something is not rotting. It's just coconuts. Hello! Cute! So, guys, today there's nothing really on the agenda. I'm gonna be cooking today. Um, turkey and... Some Finally! Some boiled broccoli. I'm not sure what else I'll put on there. And what do you mean finally? I just got here like two days ago. Excuse me. I haven't me. seen food from you in ages. Yeah, because I haven't been here. But anyways, that's on the agenda for today. There is not going to be much happening. Like I actually can't leave the apartment uh, for 10 days. So I will be at the house for a while. Um, so most of this vlog will be at the house with us doing nothing really he's also gonna have to stay at the house with me in quarantine more or less and that's it for now see you guys a little bit later when i'm cooking so guys i just got a package in the mail and if you haven't already guessed i am in love with aliexpress i think you can find some really cute pieces for an affordable price cute home decor items which just will enhance your apartment or your life or whatever for a affordable price so i just got something in the mail which I just want to unbox for you guys. 
So basically I'm trying to update my, my work bag instead of having a backpack. I want to have a handbag, but obviously like a big briefcase type of handbag. So that's basically what I got from AliExpress. So let's see what it looks like in real life. I picked up two, one in the black color and one in this like brown color. Um, this looks like it's the black. Ooh. So the bag looks like this. Let me just get some light for you guys. The bag looks like this. It's obviously not real leather, but look at that. That looks really good. I'm so impressed with the quality. So it's gonna look like this on the body. So cute, I love that. Let me give you guys a little look in the mirror. So it kind of looks like that. And that's going to be my new work bag so that is the black let's look what the brown one looks like so guys this is the brown color so adorable i love it those are the two bags which came in the mail from aliexpress i will be linking them in my description bar below so definitely check that out and i wanted to show you guys one more thing which i picked up from aliexpress i posted it on my instagram it's this like butt vase and i also picked that up from aliexpress i love it so much it got here in a good time it's very affordable we'll be linking that below as well as well with the pampas grass because the pampas grass you just need a reliable link and i get the best pampas grass i love this pampas grass so let me show you guys that and then i will see you guys a bit later so guys this is the vase from aliexpress i'm sure you guys have seen this vase all over instagram um there are some reliable ones on aliexpress like this one i absolutely love it and it adds just so much to my table super super cute okay guys so it's a little bit later in the day sven and i are finished with work by the way my eyebrows they're peeling. Look at them. They're literally lifting off of my skin. Update day nine. That was a quick update. So I'm going to be making some boiled broccoli. This is turkey with mushrooms and just seasoned together. Going to be putting that in the oven to bake. Going to try to make my own sauce. <laughs> I hate making my own sauce, but okay. And then we're just going to have some rice with it on the side. And that's just going to be it. A real simple, easy... Um, dinner tonight because I just don't feel like doing anything extravagant so that's it and I love baking things it is the easiest thing to do I'm actually gonna put it in the oven now um Sven is not here right now he went to go drop some things off um at the post office and he'll be back shortly so I'm gonna start the food as he is away and I will show you guys the finished product when I'm done so guys we've already eaten but I want to show you guys what I cooked so this is the meat. It was very, very, very spicy. I think I overdid it with the cayenne um, powder. Too much spice, but still tasty. And then this is just the broccoli and the rice. You just put it on the stove and just gonna leave it there. Now we are going to watch a movie and relax and call it a night. Today is finally Friday. I am in the office again. I'm sorry, I'm literally always in this spot. So let me give you guys a update on the brows. A lot more has peeled off. 
I am just looking a hot mess, but I'm still peeling. I'm still peeling and I'm still waiting for all of it to go. I don't know when it will go. Um, and I'm getting a bit scared. I hope that the lockdown will lift in potentially six weeks so that I can go get a touch up. I have a lady who can do powder brows here and she can do my touch up for me. Um, so let's cross our fingers, hoping that the lockdown will lift. If it doesn't, then mm, I'm just screwed, I suppose. Or I'll just fly to New York for a weekend just to get my eyebrows, you know, touched up. That won't happen. That's a joke. But yeah, that's basically the update for my brows. And someone did ask me, I don't know where. So they asked me, how am I going to be doing then with the Pretty Vol, um, lash serum which you can also use as a brow serum so when my brows are completely healed i'm going to start using the serum again because when they're healed it's just going to be my hair you know you can still put lash serum and whatever after it's completely healed so i'm going to still put the serum on my brows because i still want the hair to grow obviously and then that's basically it because i don't see an issue with putting the serum on top of this i will check with my um brow lady though just to confirm but I personally don't see an issue if once everything's completely healed so I will update you guys on that as well yeah that's basically it today I'm going to be having some Jamaican food I'm just predictable it's Friday so why not and let me just give you guys a rundown of my outfit this is my home office fit for the day this room is so weird I'm gonna be standing like this, but I'm just wearing this turtleneck, this white turtleneck. It's from Shein. It has this cute buttons here. And then I am just wearing these sweat bottoms, which I got from Charlotte Ruth, and it's just in a nude color. So very chilled. And then I'm just wearing my chin, 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 chin. Tijin um, blue lens glasses. I absolutely love them. I'm gonna ask Sven to pick up the Jamaican. 